Hey guys, it's Miss Six Storms here again with a new fic. Um, so this is a I'm back video with a short fic. Um, this is only 1700 words. Um, and yeah, um, well, my brain decided to go off track for a second. Let me just get back there. So today is July 15th, Izuka's birthday. So happy birthday to him. It's also, I think, Shi Lian's birthday, but it's a different fandom, so we'll just put that aside for now. Um, I hope you guys, everyone is doing well. Um, I've been seeing so much interaction and appreciation for my posts that I have, and I haven't posted for months, and I really do appreciate it, and it makes me want to post more. So, um, well, I'm posting again. <laughs> all y'all got, all y'all support has been making me want to do it again, but life has been chaotic with my apartment needing renovations to a new job, having weird ass schedules, to my education. It's just been chaotic. But now I work night shifts. It's right now 6 a.m. and I'm at work and, um, yeah. But, anyway. Without further notice, let's just get started with this, and I can ramble more afterwards. <laughs> so this is called Part-Time Barista, Part-Time Analyst. It's written by Command Commander Starry, and this fic will be in the description. Without, well, without further, further notice, let's get started. Midoriya Izuku was a quirkless barista who worked in a coffee shop his mother owned. They catered to everyone. No quirk discrimination was left here. Izuku was a primary face of the shop since his, mother, his mom worked as a quirk discrimination lawyer. He gave up his dreams of being a hero after the slime villain incident in middle school. Izuku proved to himself that that incident that he could he proved to himself with that incident that he could be a hero without a quirk, but All Might telling him he couldn't was still a steady wound that still hurt to this day. Izuku had still gone to UA and he continued his education in the business course. He learned how to run a business while getting his general high school education credits. Without knowledge, once he graduated, he took over to ma the main manager at his mom's cafe so he could go back to doing her, her lawyer work full time. Inko was good at what she did, and Izuku wanted her to continue that amazing work she was doing for people with weak and villainous quirks and the quirkless. That was actually how Izuku met his best friend, Hitoshi. Inko took his case pro bono when she heard about how his, how his school before UA treated him. She sued the shit out of him out of them for quirk discrimination and the people who put their hands on Hitoshi to put the muzzle on him were arrested and sentenced to jail time. Hitoshi, Hitoshi kept coming around to the cafe den and the two boys became inseparable. Now, uh, nowadays, nowadays Izuku doesn't get to see his friend that often as Hitoshi's career as the underground hero Sirene took off, but as of, but as often he could manage, the purple-haired boy stopped in as soon as the cafe opened for a coffee and a hello to show Izuku he was still alive. Hitoshi was also the only one who knew what Izuku did at night. The boy had taken, taken his hobby from his childhood and turned it into a career where he had a vast network to help solve crime. He was a professional analyst under the moniker his childhood bully gave him, just with a positive twist. Dekiru was, was a renowned quirk and fighting style analyst that was sought out by most unders, but got occasional daylighters as well. Hitoshi was his point of contact with anyone. Izuku never met anyone in person. He had started this when he, had, he was a first year at UA Somehow, he even garnered the respect of, her, of the eraser head, which he learned later from Mitoshi was a heroic teacher I'd too. 
His nightly activities are actually how he met pro hero Shoto. That was an experience in and of, him, of itself, since the hero fre frequented his cafe during the day, though it was usually another barista that helped him since he came in later in the afternoon when Mizuku was working on paperwork in the office. Izuku didn't meet the pro hero himself for some time after they started emailing started email correspondence about a case, and dear god was it hard to not immediately start talking about the case to the hero's face. He hadn't had this happen before at, at that time. When he met a hero he was actively working with in person. Surprisingly Shoto was he hadn't had this happen before at that time. When he met a hero, he was actively working with in person. Surprisingly, Shota was extremely persistent about meeting in person. Those emails had contemplating, had him contemplating. It would be nice to actually talk in person about a case, or maybe even get a new friend. Hitoshi was really his only friend, and it also didn't help in the decision making that Izuku found the dual hair colored hero attractive. Izuku ended up roping Hitoshi into the in-person meeting. Since the purple haired boy was friends with Choto, they had been classmate, classmates once. Hito once Hitoshi transferred from general education to the hero course in the second year after winning the, fir the first, year for first year sports festival, much like his mentor. The plan was for Hitoshi to ask Shoto to meet up at the cafe to catch up, and Izuku would basically crash that he would basically crash that. Hitoshi agreed not without being promised free coffee for a week, and set up the meeting. Hey, boss man, Shinzo Kun and his friends are here," said one of his employees. "Thanks, I'll be there in a moment." Izuku called back without looking up. It took him a moment to finish his paperwork before getting up and making his way to the front. Peeking around the corner, he confirmed that yes, Hitoshi and Shoto were both here, chatting in the back corner of the cafe with snacks and drinks. Izuku took a deep breath to steady himself and made his way over. Move over, insomniac, Izuku said, scooching into Hitoshi's side of the boot. Like I need to move much short stack, Hitoshi quit it back, but obliged anyway. Shoto looked at a newcomer confused, evident in the frown furrow in his brow. You're quite persistent, Shoto-chan. Shoto-san, Izuku stated. They crew at your service. The analysis? But you're our age, Shoto stated. Yes, Izuku said, now confused himself. How did you think I was? Shoto shrugged. I don't really know, but it was definitely older, especially since... I've been hearing about analysis since I was in my third year. Izuku hummed underst understanding and understanding. Why did you want to meet me anyway? Well, when you s well when you spend the better part of a decade as my friend would say dunking on Endeavor, a kid would want to meet their hero. Shoto stated like it was obvious. Hitoshi groaned. I still hate that Ashido taught you to meme. Hero? Izuku squeaked. Yes, it was hilarious to watch him basically implode whenever he sent in an analysis about him and the statistics about the damage he caused, Shoto confirmed. Izuku chuckled at the mental image. Well, you've met me, the man said. Call me Midoriya here, though. Or Green Bean, Hitoshi butted in, in with a cheeky grin. Izuku pouted and crossed his arms. You're never letting that go, are you? Never, the underground, undergrounder replied immediately. Shoto tilted his head. Are you two dating? Hitoshi groaned while Izuku sputtered. Don't start conspiracy bullshit, Shokun. Not, no, we're not dating, the purple-haired boy said, running his hand down his face in an exasperated manner like he dealt with this on a regular basis. Shoto quirked an eyebrow at Izuku, who said, No, he, he's like a brother to me, also not my type. Offended, Hitoshi teased, to which he got an elbow to the rib from Izuku. Izuku-kun, could we get some help on, on the at the counter? The, 
the green the green haired boy called them over. Coming the boy in question shouted, sorry to cut this short. The grin never stopped. You can get my number from Toshi if you want. The green haired boy then jogged back over to the counter, fitting seamlessly into the line of people making drinks and food. Shoto did in fact get his number from Itoshi. Izuku ended his shift for the day with a base with a couple of introductory message from the man basically saying who it was and how he got his number. The two of them chatted back and forth a little bit, but the messages were a little awkward. The awkwardness eased with time, and soon the duo talked even more than Hitoshi and Izuku did. Shoto started stopping in the cafe in the morning when Izuku was manning the front to say hello and chat for a bit before going off to work. A pro hero's job never ends, which Izuku knew full well with the number of email requests he got for analysis. One morning, though, Izuku got surprised. Shoto came into the cafe with another top 10 hero, Kreidi. They were chatting idly about a case that they were working on as Izuku got Shoto's usual ready and got an herbal green tea for Kreidi order to start it as well. Izuku-kun, this is Yamamo. Yamamo, Izu- Midoriya Izuku, Shoto introduced. It's a pleasure to meet you, Midoriya-kun. I've heard a lot about you, the woman greeted Cordially. It's nice to meet you too, Kreidi san. I saw you I saw you talk down with a earphone jack recently. Your teamwork with her is incredible. Izuku gushed, letting his hero worship take over for a moment. Izuku flushed red when Shoto hid a small smile behind his hands at Izuku's antics. You really know your stuff, don't you? Yamamo said with an amused smile. I'm going to have a seat for a moment. Just a holder for me once you get the, just, just hold it for me once you get the, once you get the drink, Shotokun. Izuku was still red as the woman took a seat by the window and turned his attention to Shoto, with a sharp look. A little warning that you were bringing creative with you would have been nice. Izuku hissed with no real hit, heat. You said you wanted to introduce me to your best friend, not another top ten hero. All my friends are heroes, Shoto said, obviously amused, which caused Izuku to huff softly. She also, she's also here more as moral support for me today. Moral support, moral support, Izuku asked, frowning his eyebrows in confusion. He had finished a duo's ring, setting them on the counter in front of the dual-colored hero. A light blush made his way onto Shoto's face, and the hero scratched the back of his neck. Izuku easily pinpointed that he was anxious and nervous. Or nervous about something. I want to take you on a date, Shoto said quietly, low enough that Izuku thought he heard wrong. Huh? Izuku asked, still confused, because why would the top why would a top ten hero want to take him on a date? I want to take you on a date, Shoto confirmed. I came to the conclusion recently that I have romantic feelings for you, so if you feel the same, I'd like to take you on a date. I would very much like that, Shokun, Izuku told him earnestly, a wild smile gracing his face. And that is the end of this podfic. Uh, if, yeah, these are one shots. I think they're based on prompts. And this one was a prompt fill for blank prompt double life, it says in the notes. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Sorry if the audio is not great. I'm at work. Um, I'm finished in like 30 minutes. I can't wait to be done and go home and sleep. It's been and it it's been a long night. Let's just say that. So, but um, I hope you guys will keep an eye out for the rest of my stuff. And I will hopefully start posting regularly. I am really sorry for not posting much lately. Uh, well, for the last few months, but like I said, life's been kind of messy, but I appreciate all the support, and I can't wait for you guys to hear my new stuff. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> I, there was something else I wanted to say, but I can't remember, so for now, all I'm going to say is, I hope you have a lovely day, night, morning, evening, whenever, wherever you are, and have a l- 
wow i it, this is, has been very like this has been a very long time now that i've done this i don't remember my outro i'm probably gonna be making a more scripted stuff but anyway hope you have a lovely night day morning evening whenever wherever you are i love you hun and thank you so much i'll see you on the next one bye